Can you really use technology to stop repeating yourself as a licensed real estate professional? Because at the end of the day, do you wanna keep on making those calls, sending out those text messages and repeating yourself about when you're gonna be meeting your buyer at that home on Friday at 2 p.m.? If I were you, I wouldn't wanna do that. In today's video, we're gonna go over 10 specific things that you can do right now in your business to help you stop repeating yourself with utilizing technology. Stay until the end because the 10th one is going to be one that you're gonna be worth waiting for and really making sure that you deep dive into. And I'm sure by the end of this video, you're gonna have some things that you can apply to your business right now. My name is Norman Lake Kinsey III, CEO and co-founder of Lives Off Agent. I met well over 16,000 plus real estate professionals and these tech techniques and best practices by utilizing technology to stop repeating yourself is what our clients do today in order to have more success with this process. So the number one thing to think about is utilize a customer relationship management tool, CRM. We like follow up boss, follow up boss ties into websites very seamlessly like ours. And it gives you the ability to be able to take any conversations that you've had and put them down into your CRM system. From the questions that come up from your customers, you can then answer those questions, put them into your CRM system. And if they ever come up again, and if you're working with someone who's older and you have to keep repeating yourself, then you can utilize your customer relationship management tool and the notes that you have and the questions that you already answered, you can send it to them so they specifically can have the information and they can be able to say, oh, you know what, you're right. You did go over that with me already because we all know we have some of those clients sometimes that might be a bit older that forget things. So number one, customer relationship management tool. Number two, leveraging email automation. Now, email automation is a great tool that you can leverage for working with a buyer and also working with a seller. When you use the automation of email, you can have a sequence of emails that go out through a calendar process. You could specifically tell them, Jay, here's gonna be my calendar and this is specifically what we're going over. You're gonna have 30 days before we go through the close of escrow, plus or minus. You're gonna get emails that are gonna be sent to you with updates, reminders, and you're gonna get your checklist from the beginning of this process. So that way you don't have to keep repeating yourself and then you can save yourself a lot of time, a lot of stress, and a lot of pressure. So that was number two. Number three, number three is gonna be adopting chatbots for your website. Now on your website, you can have FAQs, frequently asked questions. So when someone has questions about buying, you can have FAQs FAQs on the buy page or selling, you can have FAQs on the selling page and then you can have general questions just in your site. I would just be careful about chatbots because chatbots can be inauthentic and you can potentially lose opportunities if you're very busy. Okay, so that was number three. Number four is you want to document, have documentation and templates for everything. So when I talked about earlier in the video, I said have a calendar and say, here's your 30 plus or minus process when working with me through the buying process or the selling process, you wanna have proper documentation for the buying process or for the selling process. That's where technology comes into play because instead of having everything in your mind, you can literally write down everything as far as the buy process or write down everything on the sell process. You could use ChatGPT to be able to put everything into the system and the system will specifically say, here's your 15 step checklist for buying. Here's your 15 step checklist for selling, right? So when you document that process, that can turn into additional things you could do, which we'll talk about and cover very soon in this video. Now, number five, you wanna be able to have a knowledgeable database. If you wanna stop repeating yourself, you wanna have, say, a, a knowledge base of information, that's YouTube. YouTube, if you're okay on video, could be a playlist of the knowledge they need to have about the area, the knowledge they need to have about buying, the all knowledge they need to have with selling. Everything specifically can be in a knowledge database that you can give to them and or you potentially can even have a place where they can sign in and get information about the process with you and how it works and what, what it all entails. 
Number six is you wanna have an automation of your scheduling. So if you wanna stop repeating yourself, then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you don't have to have text messages coming in saying, hey, Jeff, I was curious, what time is that meeting gonna be again? No, 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 no. You literally can just have Calendly.com, Google Calendar, they click on your calendar, they select a date, they select a time, it automatically goes into the calendar and you're good, you're done, easy peasy, you wanna think twice about it. That's what I would highly recommend, okay? Number seven, automation. You wanna standardize and automate your marketing. So if you want to stop repeating yourself, if you standardize and you automate your marketing and you know your niche market and you specifically work with that buyer, you specifically work with that seller, and it's not just any buyer or any seller. It's a specific seller because that person's looking to relocate. It's a specific buyer because that person's looking to downsize. And you have information, you have recordings, you have marketing that automatically goes out for that individual demographic, then you could have a bunch of information for sellers that's automatically on your social media or automatically on your website or automatically on your YouTube channel that you can give to the individual and then they can take and then they can be able to watch it and they can be able to build no like, and trust, see that you're gonna be the, the authority, which is the expert in the market, and they can be able to get their questions answered pretty quick. Number eight, you wanna make sure that you have videos. So imagine having videos which I've already talked about that would tie into this process, which could be a part of your knowledge base, could be a part of your YouTube, could be part of your website, where then you can be able to record every step of the process on the buy side, every step of the process on the sell side. Video, video, video is extremely popular and very, very smart to take advantage of in today's day and age. Now you have number nine, two more to go, digital task management. You can utilize a digital task management system to be able to go through the process working A through Z with you so they know what to be expected. When I work with my mother, uh, my sister-in-law, and we we're moving from California to Arizona, and I was going through that process, there wasn't quite a checklist, and it wasn't like here's gonna be a calendar, and these are gonna be the dates for the calendar that we'll wanna hit. I believe there might've been a light calendar, but nothing that really stuck out to me that made me feel like, wow, this is amazing process and I want to tell everyone about this. So let's go ahead and recap before we get to number 10, the one that I told you we'll be waiting for. And so we just went over number one, CRM system. Number two, leveraging email automation. Number three, adopting chatbot for your website or FAQs. Number four, document templates. So you can make sure that you have everything put together that can turn into a video. Remember that? Number five, creating a shareable knowledge base, which we talked about. Uh, number six, automating your schedule, Calendly.com, Google Calendar. Number seven, standardize your automation and marketing. Uh, number eight, you wanna make sure that you have a video, data log, video catalog, place where people can watch the videos, which is a really smart idea. Number nine, a digital task manager. And number 10, text message automation. Text message automation can tie into your, say, calendar system. So when someone books a call with you or they book a sharing with you, then they're gonna get automatic text messages from Calendly.com about the appointment and you can set that up so you don't even have to think twice about that. Um, you could also do text message automation when you go through the process of working with that buyer and working with that seller and you could be able to give them the text automation when it comes through the process of like, if it's a seller, um, the inspector just checked out the home. Uh, we just got an offer on your house. So those are gonna be the 10 things that you can do in your real estate business to help you with the process of not repeating yourself over and over again, being able to save yourself time, save yourself insanity, to have more success at the end of the day. So. Out of the 10, what was the most valuable? Are you already doing some of these things? Are you now gonna implement some of these things? Give this video a like if you found value. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll be seeing you on the next one. I appreciate your time, and we'll see you all on the next one.